preparing to take the forthcoming JAM 2022 uh, uh, UTME examination, then this very 10 minutes video is for you. Don't stop on the line. I want you to watch this video to the end. If you really want to avoid making mistakes as you go about the registration for your examination. Remember, mistake will cost you a lot of money because it takes a lot of money to change such mistakes when they are done. But before I proceed, I want you to hit the subscribe button before leaving this page. Once you do that, you always get an instant update about all you need to know about these exams and videos that can help you score very high in the forthcoming UTME examination. So, subscribe. Now, for you to successfully register for the JAM 2022 UTME examination, you need the following requirement. Before now, I must have known that you should have been reading the JAM brochure. That brochure is going to help you know the subject combination and the course of study you desire to study. And it's going to help you know your choice of institution. Now, before now, if you haven't done that, I want you to go to the nearest NIMSI office and then register for your national identification number. You should also do the following you are seeing on the screen. We are going to take this one after another, and that is why I say you should stick around to the end of this video in order to know all you need to know to avoid making much mistake during the course of your registration. Now, the first thing you need to know is to know your subject combination and the course of study. Now, make sure that JAM will always want you, will always present and want candidate to choose four subjects. English language is composed for all whatever course you'll be taking and the other three subject co combination will be required for uh, subjects that suits your course of study. Now, let's assume I'm studying medicine, medicine and surgery. I will be required to take English language which is composed with then any uh, biology, chemistry and what physics. And if you are doing accounting, then use of English is composed with mathematics, economics and any other social science subject you do desire the brochure will say will tell you more about this which you can always see a link in this video in the description section to what to download it now the choice of institution in this point i want you to note that jam will only help you uh, only suggest that you choose any of these institution as your first choice Normally, students always have the idea that it is only universities that can be chosen as first choice. There are some that truly really want to go to an innovative enterprise institution. There where they can learn vocation. You can likewise choose such choice as your first choice. So any of these can come as your first choice. You can choose a university, you can choose a polytechnic, a monotechnic, or a college of education as your first choice. The next thing you need to do is to get these two important requirements. These two things are required in order for you to start off the process for the registration. One, you need a personal mobile number with a new SIM card. Now go to the nearest telephone mobile outlet center, register any new SIM. Please don't use a SIM that a candidate used for last year registration, you have serious issues with it. The phone number is used as a unique identification uh, of you and JAM will always use it to communicate with you all through the process of your registration, starting from your registration, your examination period, and then your admission period. So it must be a new number. Now, if you have not also registered for the NIM number, that is your national identification number, you have from now to Friday to do that because the registration process starts on the 19th of February, 2021, 2022. Now, these are the two things you need to have. And once you have these two things, now you can start the process. Now, the step one, you have to create a profile. Now, to create a profile, you have your name number, the 11 digit name number. All you need to do is to send it as a text. In this format, name, you leave a space, you type the 11 digit number, and you send it to this short code, 55019. 
or 66019. Please don't send it twice. That is how you create errors. Send it just once. The message you receive might take time, but it will eventually do what? Come. So on that same mobile number you use, which is the new one you bought, you will receive a 10 character profile code. That is what we call profile code. And that shows that Jam has automatically tied your name to that number. No one else can use that phone number any longer. Now, this code now contains all the personal profile that you registered with NIMSI. And this is exactly how they want it so as to synchronize it with your what? With your Jam profile. The next thing you need to do now, once you have gotten your, you've created your profile, the next thing you need to do is to pick that profile code, the 10 character profile code, and take it to any accredited bank or payment center. Once you get there, they will do the other process for you, but then you have to pay. That is where you pay the 4700 Take note, all through this process, this is the only point you have to pay to the bank. And once you pay that amount of money, that bank or payment outlet center will now have to send an e-pin, we call it the e-registration pin, to that unique phone number you have. Remember, I told you that phone number is what Jam has used to what to identify it. You will send it to that phone now. And once it is sent to that phone number, the next thing you need to do now is to the step three. Take that profile code and the registration e-pin and head to any Jam accredited CBT sender for your biometric capturing. Now, once you get there, what are they going to do for you? They will capture your 10 fingers and then they will take your photograph. Remember, if you successfully capture and your photograph is taken, then an e-pin, e-registration slip will be requested for you to what to print. Once they print that e-registration pin for you, that is the slip you are going to use to enter the examination hall. Remember, you won't pay that 700 Naira to this outlet. It is totally free because you have already paid for such an amount that services in the what? In the bank. Now, get that slip, that e-slip that they printed for you. Keep it very well. That is what you use to enter the examination hall. Hooray, congratulations. You have successfully registered for the 2022 JAM UTME exams. Now, what next? Your whole obligation now is to keep all your codes securely and your pace and your e-registration slip. And make sure that you start reading very well and preparing for the examination, which is to start on the 6th of May and end on the 16th of the same May, 2002. Note. If you want to sit for the mock examination, then you have to register early. If you register early, maybe before uh, before the end of registration, you might be opportune to take the mock exam. Mind you, it is not compulsory, but to me and to you, it is very necessary because it will put you in the right examination con condition, and then you'll come to learn. Don't forget to join our online tutorial classes as you prepare for your examination. Now you see this video, I want you to like it, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This will help you get updates and tutorials. See you in our academic class and always make sure you check the description of this video for all the links you need to get great sources in your forthcoming jam registration. New track wishes you the best in all your endeavors. Thanks so much for listening and look forward to seeing you now.